and got some breakfast slop going. Too far to drive into town. Got some grilled English muffins down there. Got some nice eggs over there. Prospector West doing something. Oh yeah, but let me show you something. Can I show you? We're going out on the uh, river today with uh, Dr. Gold. <laughs> Look at that. The gold doctor. He's got a stethoscope there. He puts it to the rocks and he listens. I got a nice tie. Yeah. <laughs> All his hair chewing. I've spent years searching both this world and its twin. Looking for a place that I might belong more than a shadow to all my sin. Now maybe it's time to step up. Look, I've never seen a better reason why. Come here, dial down. I'm gonna lose me in those flashing on emerald eyes. Try to be the word when you can't listen. I try to be the voice when you can't sing. I try to be the eyes that you see through when darkness covers everything. Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching. We had breakfast here this morning, which you probably saw. We're here with the gold doctor today, and he's going to go put his stethoscope on some rocks and find some gold. So let's uh, get right out. Oh, wait a minute. Let's Probably see if. Weather. Yeah, we better check with the weather first. Let's check with the hip bee. He had his coffee and honey, so he's ready to go too. Hey, you groovy dudes, this is the hip bee, and I'm ready to go today. I got my honey, I got my coffee, and they want me to do the weather, so let's do it. Today, the weather is going to be... Looks like it's going to be groovy, baby. Fire out. All the leaves are changing, and things are looking really spaced out, baby. Let's get out on the river and find some gold. Well, it looks like the weather is going to be really good. We've had a really great stretch of weather. It sounds like the hip bee could have just done the weather report once and it would have been good for all week. <laughs> Let's get out to the river.
stopped into the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop again to get some giveaway prizes. The so, Great Gold Giveaway. The Great Gold Giveaway. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Let's see what the doctor ordered. First of all, we got two bags, two boxes of pay dirt, gold bearing pay dirt. Wow, look at that. Two boxes of pay dirt. Got a good amount of gold in those. Then I dropped the other one. And there's more. We got two nuggets from Rosie that came from the East Branch. Oh, let's take a look. Two. Two nuggets. Look at that. Wow. That's but that's something. not all. That's not all. What else is there? What else is there? Oh. We're going to give away our gold from today. We're going to give away any gold that we find today. This is the great gold giveaway. A great gold giveaway. These nuggets are awesome. They are. One more look. Yeah. That's from the East Branch in Byron, Maine. Wow. That's great. So stay tuned to find out how you win those. We got to pack up, get down to the river. We made it out on the river, the uh, East Branch. Uh, this is a, we've been to this spot before because we've always found gold here, so we keep coming back here. Other spots on the Swift we've gotten skunked, so. We've come here and we're gonna snoop around and find a different spot to dig. It's a beautiful day. Perfect. The, this is the gold. Let me show you around. There's a peanut butter cookie. Two bites taken. Two bites taken. Look at that. And there's the river. Comes down that way. Beautiful leaves. And it comes by. And goes past us that way. I'm going to set my sluice box back up over there. Doesn't get any easier. It's already set up for the sluice. So we're going to get set up and we'll get digging. Tom did a test pan while I was setting up the sluice. Let's see. So I got that oh, yeah. sluice right there. There's oh, another yeah. small one or two in there. That's a good way to start. Good way to start. We gotta find a lot of gold to give away. Doctor 
is running. He was saying their sluice is running a little slow for his liking, but maybe he'll catch more gold. It'll work. It'll work, he says. Gold doctor approved. Ten doctors approved using a sleuth box. He's almost done. He's getting down there. And we'll clean that out and see what's in it. Hard to see down there, but that's a piece of gold sitting right there. I got material. It's the only one we can see right now, but we're going to let it clear out a little bit. Here we go. Going to do a cleanup. We could see some visible gold in the black indicator mat, so hoping that's a great sign. The sluice set was given to us by Brian Carey and works awesome. The mat comes out easy, real easy to clean. You don't have to worry about any gold being stuck in that mat. It comes right out when you flip yeah, it inside it out. Here we go, panning out the concentrates. A little view up the stream here. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. I see gold, I see gold, see Ooh. it? I'm gonna push it up. That it's, one there? Yeah, there's just like three pieces there. Is that the one we could see? It's pretty good no, size. No, I don't think so. I don't think it was that big. Nice. I'm just gonna clean these up here. There we go. Yeah, I see it popping through there. It's a nice piece. Oh, yeah, a little bit of gold in there. Oh yeah. Look at that piece. That That's the flake of the day. Yeah. It's a decent sized stuff and they're not a lot of pieces, but. Yeah, a good size, but not a lot. It's a good start though. Good start. It's only one bucket, so. That's not bad. No, well, suck it up. Well, that gold is better than the big hole we dug over here on the other side last time, so. The big piece is the a picker in there. The stethoscope worked. We heard it. We're giving that gold away. We're giving that gold away. Along with those nuggets and the pay dirt. This is the great gold giveaway. Is that what you called it? The great gold giveaway. The great gold giveaway. And we'll pan it out too. If you don't want to pan out the uh, pay dirt because you're not a prospector and We'll pan it out for you and put send you the gold vial. and put it in a vial and send it to you. So the choice is yours. 
So we're gonna take five here and sip on a water and uh, do another run. I'm jigging. Tom's classifying. That's the last one. Now, I'll probably just fill that in because I don't think we're doing any more, but I'm gonna wait before I do because you never know what you might find. Taking a break. We uh, got all that done. There's another full bucket, right? A bucket? A full bucket. It, but it's full, right to the rim. And uh, we're gonna run it, but I'm taking a break. And uh, hopefully we'll find some gold. For the giveaway. For the giveaway. We're, we've got some going. We got some guaranteed nuggets anyway. It's been a nice day out here. We, uh, we're enjoying the weather. It's partly cloudy, partly groovy. And here we go. Let's see if this runs a little better. I readjusted it. Yeah, I think it's pulling out better on this side here. Hiding in that black sand. Yeah. Well, not as good as I had hoped. But there it is. There it is. One bucket. That's gold. All right, here's what we got for the day. There's a few nice pieces in there. Little rusty one over there, but uh, not you know. It is what it is. Some days we've done better. Some days we've done worse. Well, that's what we got for the day, and we're going to put that in a vial, and we're going to uh, give you that, and those two nuggets, and those two boxes of pay dirt. And like we said, if you uh, don't want to pan the pay dirt out, we'll pan it out. Maybe we'll even film it. And, uh, and send it and give it to you. Uh, we're enjoying our time out here on the river. and uh, But we're going to be packing up here and heading back to camp.
you got there? Ham, ham and mustard. Ham and mustard, fancy. For me. It's gonna be a while before we eat dinner and we were hungry. So we didn't have any lunch. We worked hard out on the river. I got a nice fancy gourmet ham sandwich and a coffee. And we're gonna sit here. Watch the leaves come down. Watch the leaves come down. These little floaty things that are flying around in the air. I'm not sure what they are, but they're all over the place. My coffee too. I'm falling in the coffee. <laughs> All right, we finally came in. We were sitting out watching the water go by for a while. And we have one of these. This is an acorn squash. And we're gonna put it in our oven. And nip the bottom off just a little bit like that. Right? And, then, and that one should be fine. As long as it sits up. I nip it so it'll sit up. Scoop out these seeds. And we're going to put them face down in the dish. Face down in the dish, and we put them in the oven. If you're cooking this at home, I would put the oven on like. Uh, 375 right so Oz is on 350 one down the bottom here. put one up the top here. and we're gonna check them in about 40 minutes 45 minutes okay let's check them they should be just about ready for the next step. It took about an hour. It's been about an hour. And I test them by poking them all that nice and soft. And then flip it over. Like that. I'm going to take the other one out too. They smell good. Flipping it over like that. Next thing we do, a little bit of butter. Whoops. In the squash. In the squash. A 
drizzle of hip bee honey. Yes. And a drizzle of some maple syrup. This maple syrup was made right here in uh, Byron, Maine, uh, by Rosie. It's her own. Rosie at the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. Yes. And we have those prizes to give away tonight. Great. The Great Gold Giveaway. Great Gold Giveaway. Gold, gold, gold. Just like the squash. Yeah. Little drizzle of maple syrup, and they go back in the oven. Just to melt all that stuff down together. About 10 minutes, and we'll be ready to go. All right, this pot <clears throat> we'll leave it up to the doctor because it's precision work. It's not easy to get out. Look at that. Looking good. One is like heart surgery. There you go. Wow. You can really smell the honey and maple syrup. Watch this precision work here. Look at that. Not bad. Oh, that's a big one there, big one. Now over here, we, <clears throat> this is not our homemade uh, spicy corn chowder. This is a uh, a one we found in a box <laughs> but <clears throat> we didn't have time before we left to make it and one of these days we'll make it but this is a uh, just a box of spicy Pueblo corn chowder they called it right in the hole right in that's not bad all right. Oh, wait, we got other things, right? We have crackers. Crackers. Every good soup deserves a cracker. Voila. Look at that. Voila. There you go, like precision. There you go. All right, let's bring that over to the table and we'll try it out. Here we are. In the dining room. I bet you this is pretty hot. Yeah, that's real hot. You gotta be, wow, careful. Ooh. That's delicious. Mmm, that's hot. Holy. Mmm. <clears throat> that's very good. Mm. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs one. up. Unless you burn your tongue, then it's a thumbs down. Let's go cool a little bit. If you've never tried this, you got to try it. It's delicious. You can you can put regular corn chowder in it, or any kind of like fall. Any super chowder? Yeah, and it works great. Uh, don't go away. We got a giveaway coming, so be right back. Tonight we have dessert. We've, got, we've, never, we've never made these in here yet. And we don't usually make a dessert. No. <laughs> so this is a first. It's a celebration for the gold giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> the great gold giveaway. Orange. Orange cinnamon rolls. Of course, we're going to drizzle a little honey on ours. <laughs> yeah. What's the temperature supposed to really be? 400 for 
15 to 19 minutes. Yeah, I think we're right at 400 right now. So. Switch them around after 10 minutes. Ooh. Hot potato. How close are we on going? Hmm? About 350, so we're not too far off. No. I'd like to take this time to thank our members, those who hit that join button, and also those who shopped at thehipbee.com. These names you see on the screen are those members, and they are special people. These people help us to continue making these videos. If you'd like to be on this screen, visit thehipbee.com and make a purchase or Hit that join button and become a member. Thank you. All right, let's check these out. Ooh, those look great. Actually, they look done. You got to put a little bit of this on each one. I can smell them, orange and cinnamon. A little drizzle of honey? Yep. Oh, look at that. We got dessert for the big, great gold giveaway. <laughs> They're real golden. They look like big golden nuggets. Yeah. Put one over here. Try a piece. Mm. Those are sticky, but good. Mm. Those are good. Let's show you what we got to give away. We had a great day out on the river today. We didn't find a ton of gold, but that's the way it goes sometimes. We tried. But we're giving away a ton of gold. But we're giving away a ton of gold. Two boxes of pay dirt donated by Rosie from the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. She has been so generous and nice to us. I just can't express uh, the uh, uh, hospitality that she has given yeah. us. So if you're in that area, please do stop in and patronize her store. Definitely. Definitely yeah. stop in and patronize her store. She has a lot of great stuff in there, too. It's an amazing sure? store. There's a variety yeah. of stuff. You can get a coffee and ice cream. You can buy gold, prospect Buy a equipment, sandwich. Rocks. Know, to bring out on the river. And these nuggets came from her store as well. These nuggets, I'll put another picture up there. There it is. Those nice nuggets that uh, we got at the store from the east branch of the Swift River. And the vial of gold and from today. And the vial today. of gold that we got from today. We have it in a nice vial now. And uh, that's going out to one of you. And all you have to do is put a comment below. Hit that like button. And make sure you're a subscriber. And when we get 125 likes, which will be quick. goes within a day or two. Uh, usually, hopefully... We will announce the winner in next week's episode. Every Wednesday, 7.30, we have a new episode. And next week, we'll tell you who's going to win that gold. And dinner was great. These things are great. We're going to yeah. eat these. We thank you for coming along on these adventures. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And visit thehipbee.com for some delicious honey. You can make honey orange cinnamon rolls. Or you can buy be other beehive products or prospecting equipment. You got it all in one place. All of it. So until next Wednesday. Peace. Peace.